Welcome to The Daily for Tuesday, September 10th with former U.S. national teamer Corey Gibbs. I'm Jason Seguini. We are here in downtown Columbus. Obviously, Columbus Crew Stadium is the site for the biggest game in soccer tonight. United States taking on Mexico, huge rivalry match. And I think this is a match that U.S. soccer fans have had circled on their calendar for a long time. If you're watching at home tonight, you can see it on ESPN or Unimas. And don't forget to log on to MLSsoccer.com for a live chat during the game. Corey, as much as U.S. fans have been looking forward to this game, I think the U.S. national team has also been looking forward to it. Since that final whistle blew in Costa Rica, they really want to move on from that result. Yeah, definitely. You know, they're coming off of a bad loss against Costa Rica. But before that, they were on a 12-game winning streak. The confidence is still high, and they're reveled up to get that win tonight against Mexico. All right, Jurgen Klinsmann is going to have to do some tricks here, though, with the lineup. Josie Altador, Michael Bradley, Matt Beasler, right down the spine of the team. They are all out for this game and throw Jeff Cameron into that mix. What is he going to be able to do with this lineup to field a team that can beat Mexico? Yeah, some key players are missing, but we should see Eddie Johnson playing up high. Clint Dempsey right behind him to play that free roll to bounce off of Eddie. In the middle, we should see Jermaine Jones matched up with Kyle Beckerman. And with Matt Beasley gone, maybe throw Clarence Goodson in there. All right, we were at U.S. soccer practice yesterday. Let's hear what some of the players had to say about this big rivalry. It's a big game, you know. It's a, it's a very big game, you know, for both teams. And, uh, yeah, you know, we are excited to be in this position, you know. And, uh, like I said, I think this game is going to definitely be how, how it used to be back in the past, you know. Both teams fighting to win, you know, both teams, you know, going at each other, you know, in, out, and, you know, up and down the field. So, you know, we're excited about the game and hopefully we can uh, get the result that we want. Living here now for 15 years and, and understanding more and more this rivalry is, is, is a wonderful thing, you know. There's, in this rivalry, there's a lot of respect, you know, for each other. Um, I, I think both countries, you know, always drive for more. Both countries want to get better. Both countries want to be in the top 10 in the world. Both countries obviously you know, want to secure the World Cup in Brazil and then going there beyond the group stage at least, at least. You know? So ambition-wise, it's very similar to our, our case. And I think there's a, there's a lot of admiration in, in this rivalry for each other uh, and obviously a lot of emotions. You know? and, uh, and we're going to see those emotions tomorrow night on the field. With the roster freeze deadline fast approaching in MLS, the Portland Timbers and Toronto FC etched out a trade yesterday, sending Maximiliano Aruti from Toronto FC to the Portland Timbers in exchange for bright DK, allocation money, and a first round draft pick. Now, Corey, this is Caleb Porter trying to find a few extra pieces to make that final push for the playoffs. Yeah, Caleb Porter and the Portland Timbers are very excited about this trade. They've scouted them for a while. They've got a number nine that they can add to their attacking force. Mm -hmm. And DK might have been a little bit too similar to Ryan Johnson. All right, so Porter gets what he wants in diversifying the forwards. As far as Toronto FC side, this is a, a Kevin Payne guy, you could say. By all accounts, Aruti was brought in by Kevin Payne, and who was very high on him. Kevin Payne out, and now Aruti out, not much further behind. We will follow this story on MLSsoccer.com. Remember, Bright DK coming back from an ACL surgery, but before that, he was making a push for the Nigerian national team. Well, it's Tuesday, so it's time to update the Castrol Index. Coming in at number one this week, Clint Irwin of the Colorado Rapids with a big shutout on the road against the LA Galaxy. At number two, Michael Sperning had the shutout against Chivas USA. At number three, another goalkeeper, John Bush, had the shutout against the Philadelphia Union. At number four and number five, something I love to see, Chad Barson and Rodney Wallace having impressive games this weekend also. All right, some defenders getting some recognition there, Corey. If you haven't checked it out, don't forget to check out Brazil Bound on MLSsoccer.com right now. Preview of the U.S.-Mexico game. And of course, later on today, starting lineup will come out, get you set up for the fantasy week. That's all we have for the daily today. Stay tuned to MLSsoccer.com all day for full coverage of U.S.-Mexico.